Uh, so I thought my phone was recording, it's not. So, so far, all I put in here was one cup of flour and one cup of brown sugar. I'm going to put one teaspoon of bacon powder. And we're going to mix this all together. Crumble it up. Okay. Okay. In this bowl, you're going to add some vanilla, about a tablespoon. Let me just use the rest. Let me see. About a tablespoon. I don't think this is a tablespoon, but. Nope. But you need a tablespoon. One tablespoon of vanilla. One egg. Okay, hold on. I'm going to pour this in here because I'm going to need this. Okay. So I'm going to need that for something else. Okay, so now we're going to whisk your eggs and your vanilla. Then you're going to start adding your flour mixture to your mixture until it starts crumbling up. You want this to be crumbly. Okay, and I'm going to keep adding this until this crumbles. Okay, and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, this is what it's supposed to look like, crumbs. Okay, now, in this bowl, you're going to take your apples. And you're going to take them out of your juice. I usually save my juice. So uh, for a peach cobbler or uh, pies, different different pies. If I need a, a sweet uh, juice. Yams, if you're going to make some candy yams. Y'all know I don't throw nothing away anyways. So you're going to take all your peaches, I mean your apples, and we're going to put them in a bowl. Okay. And we're going to add some cinnamon. A little extra cinnamon. And we're going to toss it. You want to make sure you just fold it in. Fold it in so air, air all the cinnamon can get on all the apples. Okay. There you go. Now you're going to take this. Y'all know I like to make sure my pie crust is um, cooked all the way because I don't like my pie crust to feel doughy. So here we go. Let me go get my pie. Okay, and we're going to add uh, your apples. I should have did more apples. This is going to be a small cobbler. It's very small. So, that's okay. Uh, this is only one bag, so if you want a full pan... I suggest that you use two bags. This is one. And then I'm going to go ahead and pour some of my juice now over the apples. Okay. Just enough to come up to. Okay. Just enough to cover it. Let me show you. See? Just enough for it to come up to your apples. Okay. 
And now you're going to take your mixture and we're going to cover up your apples. Okay. And you just cover it all up. That's your... And then I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the oven. 350 for about one hour. You're going to take about three-fourths cup of butter. This is real butter. And you're going to pour this over your brown sugar. Okay. And your apple cobbler is done. You can do it with the crust if you want, like you do a peach cobbler. But Papa, I love peach cobbler, and the house does, but Papa's not a peach person, but he loves his apple pies and apple cobbler. So since I'm doing this for our anniversary, I decided to do an apple cobbler. And I will show you what it looks like when it comes out the oven. But that's what it looks like for now. You can also top it with more cinnamon if you like. No wrong way, no right way, just your way.